Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Gotham Knights because I really do have a lot I want to say about it. Now, before I actually get into the video, I'm just going to say it right away. I did not buy Gotham Knights simply just due to the fact that it did not look interesting to me. And I'm a huge fan of the Batman Arkham games, Arkham City, Asylum, Knight, Origins, I'm iffy on. I haven't beat Origins yet, but I really do like City Asylum and Night. I beat all of them last year, and I had a blast playing all three games, and eventually I will beat Origins, but the point is, I really do love the Arkham games. So Gotham Knights did look interesting to me at first, and I know it's not developed by Rocksteady and everything, and it's not set in the Arkham universe, but it did look pretty cool. And if it took aspects from the Arkham games, I feel it would have been a really good game. Because the Batman Arkham games are still some of the best superhero games ever. Like, the best superhero games you will ever play play. Batman has never had a better game than Arkham Knight or City or Asylum, and I still stand by the fact that Arkham City and Knight are the best in the Arkham series. Especially Knight, because Knight looks so goddamn good. Even seven years after it came out, I can't believe it's been seven years already, but seven years after Arkham Knight came out, it still holds up to this day. It has no reason looking that good. And speaking of Arkham Knight looking that good, Gotham Knights as a modern game in 2022 looks absolutely horrendous. I hope they know what they're doing. Now, it doesn't look bad, but for a game releasing in 2022, the fact that a seven-year-old game looks better than it is just insane to me. Gotham Knights also has ray tracing, which I feel like ray tracing should help, but, but here's the thing. Arkham Knight didn't have ray tracing. From what I've heard, it had a form of ray tracing because ray tracing wasn't really a thing back then, or at least not something that was like, NVIDIA hadn't really figured out ray tracing, neither had an AMD, they didn't really figure it out to like the 20 series. Ray tracing did exist in some shape or form, but not like we have today. So Arkham Knight had a form of ray tracing, but it didn't have full on ray tracing. So the fact that Arkham Knight, without having full on ray tracing, looks better than Gotham Knights, a game with full on ray tracing, like, Actual ray tracing is just kind of sad. Gotham Knights should look way better, and it's been in development for so long that I really feel like it should do way better in the graphics department because it's just kind of sad. And while we're on the topic of graphics, let's talk about performance. Now, from what I've heard, wow, terrible voice crack right there. From what I've heard, the performance in Gotham Knights on PC is absolutely abysmal. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at Gotham Knights here running on my RTX 3060 PC here. The performance is a big issue and we definitely want to get that straightened out. But I do have things with 1440p DLSS on quality, though it's probably not doing anything. No V-Sync, ray tracing's on, everything else is turned off for motion blur and all that. And then the highest settings we can run other than that. We're not able to utilize our GPU the way that we should. It's rare that I see games with this type of a problem. And it makes you realize like, why they didn't even want to bother putting a performance mode on the Series X and S as well as PS5 because, Jesus Christ, the game has no business running as bad as it does on PC. L literally, like, on 30 series graphics cards, 40 series graphics cards even, it runs like garbage. Like, there is no reason for that at all and i don't know what they were thinking when optimizing this game because they clearly did not try and it's become more of a trend lately i said this last year in my video on the ascent and i think i've made videos on other games as well saying this over and over again developers keep releasing their games in this unoptimized state just to push sales of new graphics cards pretty much now maybe that's not the case but when 
Gotham Knights takes a fucking 30, 60, or a 30, 80, or 30, 70 even. Not even a 30, 70 probably. Like, I'm talking 30, 80, 30, 90, 40, when a, when a, when a, got, when a 40, 90 can't even run Gotham Knights, you, you know it's bad. Because a 40, 90 is currently, the, like, the top of the line graphics card. And, like, the fact that the Gotham Knights can't run on it, a, a stable frame rate above 60 fps is just insane like that should not be the case i'm sure all of this will get fixed with patches but like why why not just optimize it so it works at launch everybody would be happier that way and speaking of that everybody is like very mad that there is not a performance mode on series x and s as well as ps5 and Everybody's blaming on the Series S, which I guess so. I mean, the Series S is not as powerful as the Series X, obviously, but we've seen countless games put the, like Forza Horizon 5, for example, has a performance mode on the Series S, and it still looks very, gr like, very good on the Series S. Obviously not as good as like Series X or PC, obviously, but they tone things down for the Series S. Even on the, like, quality setting, like, you're not gonna get Series X or PC quality graphics on the Series S on the quality graphics setting because they tone things down on the Series S just to, you know, keep a stable 30 FPS. I feel like for Gotham Knights, they could have done the same if they cared enough, but they did not. Instead, they opted for capping the game at 30 FPS across the Series X and S as well as the PS5, and on PC, where you should be getting, you know, 60 plus FPS most of the time, depending on what resolution you're playing at, what graphics card you have and everything, you don't, because the game is just an unoptimized mess. Anyways, guys, that's really about it. I just wanted to talk about my frustrations with Gotham Knights, and I'm still probably not going to buy it in the future, because I don't really care. I redownloaded Arkham Knight and had a blast replaying it again. Not the story, I just like gliding around and stuff. And to me, that was just much better than the experience I would have gotten in Gotham Knights. Because the gameplay looks terrible. Everything about Gotham Knights does not look fun at all compared to like Arkham Knight. So yeah, that's really about it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Gotham Knights. Have you guys played it yourself yet? What's your guys' experience with Gotham Knights so far? Are you guys liking it? Are you guys not liking it? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.